Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, we're going to talk about finding fabric to use in our slow stitching. I hope I give you some tips that maybe you haven't thought of. Now, some of my tips include how to find new fabric, different ways that maybe you haven't thought of, or different ways to find used fabric. So let's get started. Now, fabric stores, both mom and pop smaller stores, as well as the bigger stores, sell fabric brand new in bolts. They have pre-cuts, so you can even purchase a yard already cut if it's a particular fabric you like. You don't have to wait at the counter to get it measured and cut. But you can also ask them to cut you just a few inches of fabric off your bolt. And depending on the store, they'll have requirements for the minimum. So if you want to purchase four inches of fabric, they'll cut you a strip that's four inches by the length of the bolt. So if the bolt has 36 inches or 45 inches of fabric, you'll get a strip that's three inches by 36 inches. Now that's a long strip, but you get a lot of fabric and for slow stitching, it's very useful. There are a couple of other ways you can get brand new fabric at the fabric store without getting a strip of fabric. But if you don't want a strip, you can purchase a fat quarter relatively inexpensively. Depending on the store you go into, you'll have more of a selection than other stores. And depending on the store you go into, the quality will be exceptional to okay. So you can find your basic fabrics here. I like to use all cotton, so I tend to stick to all cotton fabrics. If you purchase fabric, even fat quarters from various sources, just double check to make sure that they're cotton if that's a requirement that you have. If you enjoy and don't mind stitching through a synthetic material, and then it's not a problem, but I do like the feel of cotton. So this is a fat quarter. So instead of cutting the yard of fabric into a strip, what they do is they open the yard of fabric. So it's a yard by 36 inches or 45 inches, whatever the width of that fabric bolt is. And then instead of cutting a strip, they cut that one yard in perfect quarters. And so a fat quarter is a quarter instead of a strip. So it's also a neat way to store fabric. You can just fold it. It doesn't take up much room. So that's one method of getting inexpensive fabric. Another method of getting inexpensive new fabric is to buy remnants. Now you can buy remnants at the store. The selection is never what you would think it would be for fat quarters where you can have a rainbow of selection of fabric prints and colors and textures and all that. With remnants, you get the remains of whatever was on the bolt when they didn't sell the entire bolt, or if they're trying to turn over stock. Usually remnants are discounted a little bit more than the standard price off the bolt. However, it can be something as much of a little scrap that's usually rolled up with the content of the material, so be cotton, and it will say the width of the bolt that it's on, as well as the width of the strip. So it could be anywhere from four inches by 36 inches to, it can be two yards. It's whatever the remnants are of that bolt. But you can usually tell if the roll is small, then you know you don't aren't getting a lot of fabric. So with this piece, it really is just a scrap of fabric. It's not very large, but I like the fabric and it'll be useful for me. The same thing here. It's kind of like a little bit of a mystery. Even though the numbers are on the piece, you really never know exactly what you're getting. Sometimes it can be a little damaged or frayed. You're paying less for the fabric, so you're getting less in return. Now with remnants, if I see something interesting, and it's affordable, I just purchase it. And you know, sometimes it's hit and sometimes it's miss. And sometimes I'll get home and I'm realizing I can't use the fabric. So you have to make those decisions and take those risks yourself. Now there are also other ways to get brand new fabric to use in your slow stitching. If you're partial to using new fabrics, you can always use a drop cloth. This is canvas, so it's a little thicker, but they come in different weights. This is a 10 ounce premium weight. You can get a lighter weight. You can get a heavier weight. It really depends on what you want and how much you want to spend on your fabrics that you want to use. I like using canvas because it's a good blank canvas. It makes great fabric books or wall hangings. I just really enjoy it. So I always have a few of these on hand. You can also think outside the box with tablecloths. 
Pillowcases, table runners, any type of linen for the holidays will work. You can use that in your slow stitching too, and that's seasonal. So depending on when you purchase it, you can get it on sale, it's brand new, and it's fun to work with. Another way to use fabric that's brand new is to shop your own closet. Go through your closet when you're doing your yearly purge or when you're looking for things that you want to get rid of in your closet. Maybe you want more space or you just brought in new items and you want to take out some old. Well, go through your clothing that you're going to get rid of and decide if you want to salvage it. You want to save some of the buttons or the fabric. You can always raid your own closet. I like to go through my closet a couple of times a year, see what's there when it, and what I don't use any longer. I'll either donate it or I can always take some of the cotton fabrics and cut it up. Like I happen to love this color and these buttons are great to salvage. So that's another way that I'll use fabric that I have and repurpose it, give it a new life, use it in my slow stitching. You can do the same thing with children's clothes, baby clothes, and what have you. Sometimes when I have skirts or even curtains, if it has an interesting pattern in it, but I don't want to use the rest of it, or I just want to salvage that little pattern, I'll just cut a scrap out. And so I have these beautiful materials to work with. Here I'd have a strip of a ribbon and here I'd have a little more embroidery. So those are some options as well. Now, if you don't mind using used fabric, well, that opens up a whole new avenue to find fabric. And that's the thrift store. Now at a thrift store by design, you never know what you're gonna find. You might find fabric pieces, fabric and remnants already cut for you and you can just purchase them there. Fat quarters as well. But you can also think outside the box and look for different ways to use fabric that you can find at the thrift store. Basically clothing and linens. I like to find beautiful old li linens at thrift stores. Sometimes they're stained and worse for wear. Sometimes they're giving them away because nobody wants them or few people want them. But this beautiful doily, even though it's stained, I can use in my work. I can even flip it upside down or I can use it partially. I can even use that stain. Here are some napkins with this beautiful crochet border that I found at the thrift store. The napkins are cotton, so that's fantastic, but that border is just stunning. And I can even use it as is or just cut it up and use part of it. So I'm quite happy with that. I found this beautiful little baby shirt it's cotton fabric, which I love. It's got these little embroidered areas that are so charming. I could even just cut that up and use it as it is, especially since it's got this little area with the buttons. It's like a little pocket. And I just think these cuffs are so precious. So I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I know it's really intrigued me. Another thing is jeans and jean skirts, or any skirts really for that matter, because they usually have a lot of fabric that you can use, particularly if they're longer. With the jean material, the denim, I really like them because I use them a lot in my slow stitching. I have a video on salvaging some jeans as well. So these are always something I look for. Now, another thing that is kind of out of fashion is the table runners. And these I just think are so charming. Somebody took the time to stitch these. I think the back side is just as beautiful as the front on these pieces here. So this is like a dresser scarf or a table runner. I can cut this out and use this in my work. Some of them I just save and I use on my tablescapes as well. So these are always a fun thing to find at the thrift stores. Anything with hand embroidery, I think is just a, a wonderful, I always think of oh, jackpot, I found something. Now I've spoken about using quilted fabric and old quilts. Sometimes you can find something that's not even a quilt. This is a pillowcase sham. It's clearly machine made, but it has a nice depth and a lot of texture to it. I actually happen to really like the colors, I'm not particularly fond of all the prints, but as you can see, I can cut this up and use this in my work. It would make great background pieces. So that's another way to find fabric for your slow stitching pieces. So I find thrift stores, antique stores, tag sales, anything like that to be a great place to sometimes find fabric 
it's really hit or miss. So sometimes you won't. Don't be disappointed if you don't. Just keep your eye open to seeing if you find some in the future. And the last tip that I have for you is to let your friends and family know that you like to salvage fabric, that you use it in your work. I guarantee that somebody will give you some fabric, some used clothing, something that they don't use any longer that you will find to be a treasure and you'll use it in your work. And you'll treasure it all the more because of the way it came to you. What are some of the methods you use for finding fabric to use in your slow stitching that isn't necessarily buying off the bolt? or buying fabric just to buy fabric? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.